All right, in this video, we're just going to talk about uh, the warm-up that we use for polynomial dot four. So we have this example here where we're talking about roots from a graphing calculator, so just using the quadratic formula there. Um, then writing the equation in standard form when I give you the roots, simplifying some I patterns, and then just graphing or sketching a graph based upon the given information. So if we start with question number one, it says to find the roots with your graphing calculator. So encouraging you to use a quadratic formula that you have programmed in there so you can find the roots or the x-intercepts of these three equations very quickly. So to start that off, what you would do is you would just say, okay, well, I just said equal to zero, which means in my quadratic formula, I plug in my one for A, my negative two for B, and 10 for C. And when you do that, you get one plus three I and one minus three I. Those are our complex numbers um, where you have this real part of one and this imaginary part of I. If you were to go through your quadratic formula by hand, uh, which we haven't done yet, but if you did, you'd get a negative underneath that square root, which would then lead uh, you to get those I's here. And so that would be your answer for that one. So as we continue for the others, if you actually did it and plugged them in, then what you'd end up with is a 2 plus i and, uh, sorry, negative 2 plus i and a negative 2 minus i. And for the third one, you'd end up with 3 plus 4i and 3 minus 4i. All three of these quadratic equations, if you were to graph them separately, they would not have any x-intercepts. They all have a degree of 2. Therefore, they have to have two different complex roots. And we're going to be looking at the relationships there. Now, moving on, if we have uh, the standard, writing the standard form if we're given the roots, uh, what we want to use is we want to use our factors, right? So as we take a look at what our factors are for each of these, if these are our roots, then we know that we're going to have x plus 5 and x minus 3, right? You do the opposite of those roots that you have in order to write out what that factor is. That's important. And then when you multiply it out, you just multiply this with a generic rectangle. So you have x squared, and then you'd have a positive 2x and a negative 15 uh, for that quadratic equation. Repeat the same idea for part b. So we're going to have x minus 10 and x plus 7 as our factors that come from these two roots. And if you did your generic rectangle, you'd end up with your quadratic equation of y equals x squared minus 3x and a minus 70. And so today we're going to be looking at the relationship between these roots these factors in this equation in both directions, you know, so going from roots to equation and equation to roots. So some review from our previous lessons. We have um, i to the 115th. This is an odd number, so what our recommendation was was that you make this as um, i squared to some power and then multiplied by i. So i squared, it's a if you have, um, you need to get to 114 because I took one of these i's out. You need to get to 114, and so that would be 57 as an exponent. 57 times 2 is 114, plus your i to the first is 115. So this is going to equal, since you have i squared, which is a negative 1. Negative 1 to an odd is still a negative 1, so this is going to be a negative i for that answer. Uh, we have an even number here, so this is just going to be i squared to the 44th because that is equal to 88 when you multiply using your laws of exponents. i squared is a negative 1. Negative 1 to the 44th is equal to a positive 1. And another odd one down here, so you have i squared to some power. and are be multiplying by i because of the fact that this starts out as odd. So really I need to get this piece to a power of 146. So 146, that would be 73, I think. So that would be to the 73rd power. That multiplies together to be 146. So you have a negative 1, which is what i squared is, to an odd number, which is a negative, times i. So this is going to be negative i again. And that's how you can simplify those to one of your four options. And to... Uh, complete the warm-up here. So sketch a warm-up, or sketch a graph, rather, of the following equations. So what we have here is that we know we have an x-intercept at negative 3. We also know we have an x-intercept at positive 4. As I think about what my degree is equal to, uh, my degree looks like it would be, I have a 1 from this one, 1 and 2 from that one, so it looks like there's a degree of 3. This piece here tells me that it's a uh, negative facing graph, so it should be uh, negative orientation, so it should finish down here. Degree of odd tells you that you should be 
uh, starting up here on the left side. So then as you graph all that together, you notice that this x minus 4 squared has a, well, a squared, and so you're going to bounce off of that one. So you're going to come down through negative 3, and you have to bounce off of 4 and head back down. And that's how we complete that. For the second one here, our final equation, we have a x-intercept at negative 2, uh, x-intercept at a positive 5, and don't get tricked by that x cubed that's out front. That tells you that you have an x-intercept at 0. So as I count up my degree... Now I'm counting this, and so I have, this gives me 3 uh, towards my degree, another one, and another one. So it looks like the degree is equal to 5. So a 5th degree polynomial, which is odd. Um, looks like it is a positive out front, or there's no negative stretch factor. So that tells me that I'm going to end up, but I have to start down because the degree is odd. So um, as I go straight through negative 2, because that is a linear root, at this spot, but zero that came from my x cubed out here, that looks like a triple root. So you gotta kinda do that s curve that goes through there, and then we're gonna go straight through five, and that would complete our graph. So that's how we graph our, or sketch our graphs based upon the given equation. Hopefully, you're able to get through that warm up. Um, this video is just supposed to be a fast way to check your work. Thank you.